Hi everybody, welcome back to BIM Hive. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at making a very mundane task very efficient and very consistent. We're going to be looking at doing consistent placing of schedules as well as legends onto floor plans itself. And coming from a documentation as well as a BIM consultancy background, I can tell you that there's nothing more annoying than going through a hundred floor plans and noticing that the actual schedules and legends are just off by one or two mils on every single sheet. And when you're going through them all and you want to just adjust it a little bit more and make sure they're all lining up, you end up wasting an immense amount of time. But with this note itself, when you get to the right time, you get the right spot, you can save yourself countless amount of hours. So what we're going to be doing is placing room schedules right up here in this top right corner itself for the entire um, floor plans as well as ceiling plans. So what we need to do is we need to go in and filter out um, the sheets that we want. So what we do is we make a floor plan schedule itself. So we bring in all the floor plans and I have a filter by sheet number and also the sheet name itself. Then we can go over here and I look at, okay, what is our starting sheet number in this series that we want to have down? I have it as A0010 for our ground floor plan. So I go sheet number is greater than or equal to this number. And then where we want to cap it off at is the second floor ceiling plan. And that number is A022. So we go sheet number is less than or equal to A022. So this way it's all organized and it's good to go. And then here are our room schedules that go alongside with it as well. Now, please note at the exact same time, this is not just limited to room schedules and also floor plans. It can be as well for your concrete layout plans with certain annotations as well as certain line types and symbols that you want to represent. It can also go into your actual elevations itself and also into your tenancy lease plans if you might have some of those that you need to do. What it does is just make sure that everything is in the right spot at the right time. So what we need to do, we just need to open up our Dynamo script for today, which is Legend Schedule Placer, and we just start working through this left to right. So the first thing that we want to do is feel, figure out what legend or schedule that we want to do. So we want to do the room schedule, so we just put that into here, and we will be good. Then we need to have the sheet schedule, which was the filtering one. This one is just called floor plans. Now, you can get a lot more detail about this. What you can do is you can even get to the point where it's like, I want to have this series of these um, details or this, um, this series of these sections. And I want it to be like this and I want to be like that. And I want to be in this position and over in this position. And you can make your life so much easier by just doing this straight away. Now, also at the exact same time, we need to figure out our location on the sheet. Now I have a node that I have designed which I'll be showing to you later on in the series but with a little bit of touch and go with this you'll be able to figure it out straight away within a few minutes okay this is why 2.15 on the horizontal location and this is why it's 1.85 on the vertical location. Now what we do here is we get the sheets from the schedules itself and we get the sheet names that come through and what we're doing is an if statement. If this is true, then we're pushing it through to go into our sheet selection inside this code block here. If it is false, we're just ignoring it and getting it to go away. It's kind of like a list filter by bull mask, but a lot simpler and a lot easier once you get more confident with Dynamo. Then we have this node over here, which is getting the view by the name itself. So that view name happens to just be the room schedule. Now, what we have over here is the actual um, end all be all node, which is the place legend schedule on sheets. We are grabbing all of these elements, which is the schedule slash legends, the sheets that we want them to be placed on, the placement point itself, and the refresh, which is just your boolean. Now, if we just click run on this, we'll notice that the failed is an empty list, but if we look at succeeded, it seems to be good. So all we need to do now is just minimize our dynamo window and voila, consistent placement on all of our sheets that we want it to be. Now, like I said, this is a very simple example. It's a very basic example, but the more detail you go into this and the more depth you go into this and the larger the projects are where you have 1,500 floor plan sheets themselves as well as tenancy lease plans, you will be able to save yourself an immense amount of time and also consistent documentation, which the other person on the other end is going to love to see. Awesome. So if you have any questions about these, feel free to just make sure you put them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and have a great day.